Attaining academic excellence in med school doesn't necessarily have to revolve around working hard. Artificial intelligence has saved us that stress and offered us a means to not only find learning easier but also faster. And that is the smart work we now preach, not hard work. ChatGPT is an AI tool that can be used in a whole lot of things ranging from something as basic as explaining concepts to you in simple terms to something as complex as writing a research or a project to work. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to set up your own ChatGPT account for free and begin experiencing the bliss of learning at ease. Just stick with me to the end. So ChatGPT for medical students. Even though in today's video we'll limit ourselves to how to set up your own ChatGPT account for free, but the entire tutorial series will still cut across other topics like using ChatGPT for medical learning, formulating study plans, creating timetables with AI, creating your own personalized multiple choice questions, true or false questions, even things like explaining concepts to you like a kid, how we can have complex scenarios like diagnosing clinical cases yes with ChatGPT, this tutorial series we cut across all of this but in today's video we'll talk about setting up your own ChatGPT account for free and that's what i will teach you right now so go to your browser by the way you should know that if you're using your mobile device it's the same process i'm explaining right here that is also applicable to a mobile device but right now i'm using a laptop so open your browser and type in openai.com. All right. So openai is actually the company that created ChatGPT among many other AI tools. All right. ChatGPT is just like probably the most popular and that's one many of us know. All right. So there are other tools that are created by openai, but today we'll be limiting ourselves to just that ChatGPT. So on their landing page, which you are seeing right now, you'll come to this, your top right corner where you have menu. Click on menu and then click on try chat GPT, which is like the last option right here. Okay. After clicking on try chat GPT, it will require you to either log in or sign up. But because I'm assuming you don't have an account yet, so you're just trying to set up your own chat GPT account. So what you actually click is sign up. Okay. And on clicking on sign up, the only requirement of you will be your email. So type in your email address. Okay. Right now, I already created a testing email address just to run this particular tutorial toluaneoris247 at gmail.com so i'm typing it right now to um this page and you click on continue and yes it will require your password i'm typing in my password right now and um let's continue as well so it would actually require us to um verify our account because that's quite important as well they don't just want you to be using someone else's email so this option for you to verify your account will pop up you can either maybe just go to your phone or just click on open your gmail right here and it will take you to your gmail account where they are where their uh, message for you to verify it would have been sent to okay so um and we actually have the message right here you can see Open AI already sent me a message to verify my account and it's quite direct. Just simply verify email directly. So that gives them the idea that, oh, it's not just a robot that is setting up an account. It's actually an human, a human being, right? So it's asking me to type in my full name. Well, um, to one, uh, or and then my birthday, should I tell you my birthday? Nah, well, I will tell you the month and the day. So the month is actually May. The day is 15th and the year, nah, 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 I'm not telling you. So you actually click on agree after typing in your birthday. Uh, the reason is they're actually trying to know that it's not a kid that is setting up an account. It's actually an adult. Okay, so, and yeah, boom, a charge if your account is set up. Uh, but, uh, well, it's just giving you things like things you can create with charge GPT. You can write codes, you can brainstorm together. You can really share links and the likes. It's a whole lot. So there will still be a time for us to try out things we can explore with ChatGPT. But right now we are on creating an account. But I actually don't like the fact that everything is bright to me. So I like to put it in dark mode. So all you have to do is come here to settings. And on clicking settings, just change the, the theme to dark. And it actually uh, makes everything cool. It gives you that tech bro kind of sensation. I'm not a tech bro, but the fact that it's dark, it just makes me feel like a pro. 
So from here, you can start different things. You can start exploring a whole lot with ChatGPT. And that's what we'll be exploring in the course of this tutorial. We'll still talk about how you can use it in medical and in formulating plans and so on and so forth. So it's a very straightforward process to setting up your own ChatGPT account. Go to OpenAI website, click on ChatGPT, then select Try ChatGPT. And um, yeah, you're going to sign up with your email, verify the email, and then usually it's, it takes you automatically back to ChatGPT. But on certain location, if it doesn't bring you from verifying your email straight to ChatGPT, all you have to do is come back to that open AI and and then instead of signing up, in this case, you will now be logging in, all right? If, because I actually clicked on saved my password. That's why it's bringing me directly to the landing page of OpenAI. And that's advisable as well. You can just save your password like I did earlier. So with that, it should um, remember your password rather than you having to be logging in every 10 times, right? So that's it on this tutorial. If you found the video helpful, of course, give it a like. And yeah, subscribe. You don't want to miss our subsequent videos. They are so going to be mind-blowing and will be helpful to you. You really need to stay in touch by subscribing and, of course, switching on the notification button. So thank you. The name is Dean.